in this tutorial we are going to generate dem and contours from the data available in csp format let's go first of all i'm going to add the data from my local drive so i'm going to press uh, left click on this add tool then i'm going to navigate to my folder and then to my folder here and this is my folder i have saved the data in this folder so you can click on folder connection here okay i have the data in this folder the sample points.csp click on that and here you it, it will show the name of it so i'm going to add that okay and i think this data is available in table of content if you didn't find table of content then you can go to windows and click on that you will find the table of content here and then we have to assign the coordinate system to this csp uh, layer data first of all we are going to uh, right click on that and then to display xy data so uh, I'm going to choose the X field is longitude and then Y field is latitude and Z is altitude. You can also choose easting, northing, and uh, Z or whatever you have uh, right root in your uh, table field in your Excel file. So here is the option to add the coordinate system to it. So I'm going to press on this edit icon. So I'm going to navigate to my coordinate system. I know it uh, is a physical coordinate system, which is UTM. So I'm going to go UTM and then to just 1984 and then to uh, 45N. I know. My data lies in this uh, zone 44 in north so I'm going to choose that so I'm going to click OK okay here is my coordinate system uh, just 1984 UTM zone 44N and its datum is GCS just 1984 so I'm going to click OK press OK and then it will generate a csp event file and you will also be able to see your point file here okay i'm going to export this csp event file as a safe file that's a vector file so for that i'm going to right click on this sample points.csp events and then go to data and then to export data and then choose all features here and the coordinate systems uh, is uh, the layer source data which means the coordinate system of this layer okay i'm going to save this data in my folder i'm going to navigate to my folder connection here so i'm going to choose this folder to save my data so i'm going to keep this name as sample sample points sample points and then choose the type as save file because I'm saving this file in a folder if you if you are going to save this file in a geo database then you have to choose the type as file and person geo database so I'm going to click on save file and I'm going to save it and then press ok and it is asking me to load this layer uh, in the map so I'm going to press yes okay so I'm going to delete this unnecessary data I'm going to press right click on it and remove it also these two okay now uh, go to the windows and then to source okay then I'm going to find the interpolation tool which will generate a raster data or raster layer uh, which is also known as digital elevation model so I'm going to find uh, interpolation model known as IDW IDW 
I'm going to press enter and it will give me free tools so I know this is a special analyst tool so it interpolates a raster surface from points you can also uh, read read it so you can also find this from this art toolbox so you can also go to special analyst tool and then to interpolation here and you will also find other methods uh, for interpolation like creating natural neighbor spline and also other you can also uh, you know uh, look at that look uh, at each method so for now I'm going to use this IDW double click on that and it will open this interface and I'm going to add my inter input features as sample points okay it will take a little bit of time a patience So okay, I'm going to add the Z field or elevation field as uh, R digit. We know that. So I'm going to give the output a directory here, and I'm going to add. I'm going to save this in this folder. So I'm going to give it as a name of digital elevation model in short form. Dot. Don't forget to write its format. T I F format we know that it is a raster data format click ok and then output cell size I'll leave it as it is so and also other settings you can leave it at uh, at the condition they are so I'm going to press ok it will start to generate a dame okay finally we have our uh, our dame okay here you can see the category and okay, now we are going to generate contours in the second step so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to search for contour here C O N T O U R okay I'm going to hit enter and it will find me a list of tools here but I'm going to choose contour uh, special analyst tool I'm going to hit double click here and then I'm going to input the raster layer that I have just uh, you know generated dem.tif and I'm also going to oh, give my directory here okay so I'm going to keep this as contour c o n t o u r contour and this is a vector file so I'm going to keep the type is s h p okay and then i'm going to keep the control interval of 10 meter you can uh, do uh, as you're liking okay and then control type it's okay uh, select control it's fine and leave other thing just like that you don't have to change anything and then press ok it will generate contour in some seconds ok ok and I know why it is not letting me zoom so I'm going to oh, restart this ok here is my contour ok first of all I'm going to uncheck my dim uh, raster file so that I'm going to uh, look at this, Just zoom it, and then also I'm going to turn up this too. I'm going to try to zoom with this, this one. So okay, it is letting me zoom. So let's label this. Okay. Let's label our contour. First of all, I'm going to right click on my contour and then label feature. And it will label feature on every data. Okay. And then 
I'm going to generate some I'm um, just like to you know label feature on on the index contour not on intermediate contour so for that I'm going to uh, to the contour and to its properties okay first of all I'm going to symbology into categories now choose contour here and then add all values and I'm going to select uh, contour uh, index contour uh, so I'm going to keep the interval of 50 meters so first of all I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to press control here so 20 70 okay and then 70 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 After selecting the categories, now you can uh, right click on it and then group the values. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is uh, group other values as intermediate contours. For that, first of all, I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to scroll down and then hold shift and you click on the last item okay then all of these will be selected then right click on it and group values okay there will be two groups and this one is index contour so i'm going to uh, change the symbol here okay double click on that and i'm going to choose this one and then color brown okay and press okay and this one double click it and then choose the color is brown okay then uh, press apply okay then you will see that there are two types of contour here okay um, Here you can see there are two types of contour out here but uh, the label is available in every type of contour both index and intermediate so I'm we are going to uh, change that for that I'm going to uh, properties of the contour layer so to label and then label field is contour and then uh, a label method you have to choose the or defined classes okay so and then uh, here you can choose the class uh, uh, default class okay it's going to and then get the symbol classes here click on that and it will give us uh, two classes so we are just going to label on the index uh, controls only so I'm going to choose this category okay and then click on uh, uh, this label feature in this class so that it will only label on the index contour and choose the label field as contour and press apply and now here you can see it is only labeling on the index contour but uh, I'm going to label this on the center part of our index contour for that uh, I'm going to choose uh, the placement properties here and I'm going to choose online and it's curved and then remove duplicate press ok ok and then you don't have to do anything on other things so I'm going to go to symbol here and then to edit symbol 
so go to mask and choose hello so that it will display on the middle of the line okay click ok and ok and apply so it will label uh, the contour in the middle okay so here you can see okay let's zoom it now here you can see uh, uh, the contours are only labeled in in the index contour not on the intermediate contours so i hope you have you understood how to generate contours in arcgis so if you like the content of this video uh, you can like and subscribe to my channel thank you